And how did I connect all those LEDs? You will not get enough 36 coach Teflon coated wire to run all the wires through the trailer. Anyway, those 36 coach Teflon coated wires are super tiny and super weak and you break them easy and easily and it's a chaos. So I decided to run 30 coach silicon coated wire. So I connected all LEDs by the Teflon coated 36 coach wire and then put them into their cases and then a very important point I used T7000 to seal the holes first I only wanted to do it that there is no light shimmer to the inner side of the trailer but what's even more important those solar joints are weak and if you pull a little bit it will break and if you have such a chaos you will pull and I didn't do it immediately seal with T7000 so in my 33 LEDs I also had after handling them two or three of the connections broke again you have to resolder them and sealing this with the black T7000 gives also strength so it's much better now of course you can't really pull but it's much more sturdy now this connection and then I connected those wires some in parallel some not where is a single one well not important now to 30 coach silicon coated wire I love this maybe you could even only use 30 coach silicon coated wire and this 30 coach silicon coated wire on the end I either crimped or soldered the JST GH 1.25 millimeter plugs or if necessary the where's the two millimeter I have a two millimeter too where is it don't find it now why that you can crimp those tiny 1.25 millimeter plugs by the housings and the crimps that's the crimp for here and for the other side this is chaos where's the board here those are the crimped contacts for here but you will not be able to do this with a normal crimping tool. You need a special crimping tool for this. Professionals buy special crimping tools for every connector, but super expensive. That's not possible for us hobbyists. So with your normal crimping tool, like the, those pliers from, I have them more than 10 years from Hobby King, they are awesome and work awesome for servo plugs and for the red GST and maybe you even can solder not solder crimp the two millimeter plugs where's the single oh, two millimeter plug here come on here it is you can maybe solder those but you will be never able to solder those with those pliers highly recommended super cheap or with those kinds of pliers i never use this i bought it in a hobby shop in seattle usa i guess 10 or 12 years ago but for the tiny ones you will need special crimping tools i can highly recommend the engineer p a 09 for this super super nice tool and recently i found this super nice and cheap iwiss crimping pliers at least they were cheap when i bought them less than 20 bucks from banggood and i made a special video about these awesome pliers and you can really nicely crimp those tiny connectors However, crimping those connectors to the 
silicon coated wire is not the best way to go. I did it on some spots. Here. No, that's soldered too. Come on, come on, come on. Here, you see, I crimped those connectors to the directly to the 30 coach silicon coated wire. The problem is, this silicon coated wire is super flexible but not sturdy. So if you pull, this connection will break because the soft silicone will break. So it's not perfect for crimping. You have to be very careful if you plug out the plugs again. In most plugs, I used those. Oh, those are the two millimeters here. Those are the JST GH 1.25 millimeter. You see both sides. Those are grab cheap. You get them everywhere, but they are not good at all because the wire is super non-flexible. I hate it. But in this case, the connection is super strong because that's sturdy insulation. So I cut the wire here and then soldered the wires to the silicone coated wire you see here. So there is only a few millimeters of the sturdy non-flexible wire up to about here. And then here is the flexible silicone coated wire. And that's probably the easiest and most durable way to go. Anyway, crimping <laughs> so many of those tinies is a bit of work too, but soldering is, of course, again, a lot of work. And for the two millimeter ones, the same thing I used. I hate those super cheap ones. I never recommend them. The wires are super thin, I guess, 28 cords or maybe 26, those ones, 28, the small ones, but they are super non-flexible but they are sturdy for the ph jst ph two millimeter you can buy those ones for drones which have not which have flexible i don't know if it's silicon coated and sturdy wire but that's not the super flexible silicon wire and those are not that cheap and i did not want to use them for nothing because here in this case those are good and i simply soldered them Okay, here you can see this one is crimped to the two millimeter. That's crimped too. I crimped. That's crimped. That's crimped. That's crimped. Okay, I think I also did solder one of the two millimeter to some wires. And here, all those in parallel, I simply used the non flexible, super cheapos. What's the much easier way? And it's sturdy and connected all those in parallel. You can see it here and here. What a chaos still. And then further recommendation. During all the soldering work and the work of connecting and preparing the wires, always, always test the LEDs. So after each solder joint test, if the LEDs still work, because it's so tiny and some connections won't work or will break and you will get crazy. If you finish all this and then test and you don't know where the problem is. So I always test it, test it, test it. So I connected, for example, those checked. Does the LED still work? Connected the wires. Does the LED still work? Connected the plugs. Does the LED still work? And I did it in all and many, many, many times because that would be a mega failure if I would have LEDs that don't work now here in this chaos. And some words about 30 coach silicone coated wire. I know that there are local fabricants here in Europe, for example, in Belgium and France, which make top, top, top quality of those wires, but they are hard to come by. I don't know how I'm a hobbyist. So I buy my stuff, of course, from the hobby shops and from Banggood, Hobby King, AliExpress. And here for the 30 coach silicone coated wire, don't buy the wires from Ali AliExpress. They are totally crap. 
Those are from AliExpress. I bought years ago by the wires from Hobby King. Hobby King has them in many, many different colors. I have them in all colors, I guess. That's 30 coach. Of course, you get thicker wires too in green, yellow, orange, blue, white, red, and black. And those are really nice quality. And even more recommended for some time now, Banggood has those kits. That's the biggest bang of the buck I've probably ever bought. You get those silicone coated wires in six different colors. You get them from, I guess, 20 coach to 30 coach. I bought every size and you get them for super grab cheap. They are normally sold for 10, 12 to 17 bucks, but you will, there are always promotions and you will get all of those for about 10 bucks and you will get not only the silicone coated wire which is super nice you get them here six different colors each on a roll even here sealed you also get i show it on a picture a ton of shrink tube but for the tiny one this, this shrink tube is a little bit too large however it's shrink tube you get a ton of colorful cable ties and you get a simple dismantling tool and you get such a tape too and that's about the same quality i think as hobby king and they are super, super nice. And I love them. And for about 10 bucks, all this, including cable tie, shrink tube, that's absolutely bang for the buck. The Hobby King wires, you can buy in one, five and 10 meters. The problem is they are always out of stock. So it's hard to buy all the Hobby King wires. And if you make a lot of orders from Hobby King, then always buy what you get. And why not use the AliExpress, those are 30 coach wires from AliExpress. The silicone is super flexible, not the problem. And the metal, the core is 30 coach, but check the thickness of this wire. Why do we want 30 coach wire here? Of course, because we want to save room, don't have place. It should be as thin as possible. And compare this to the Hobby King and Banggood Euro AV wire. I guess it's at nearly two times as thick, and since it's a, it's round, it's a lot, a lot thicker. And this silicone coating is super soft too. And I could use Hobby King or Banggood. Maybe 26 coach wires is about the same diameter. So what's that for? That we don't want. We don't need a thick insulation. We need an insulation as thin as possible. So that's the same wire. And you see how much room you save with the Banggood and Hobby King wire. Don't buy it. It's totally useless. Then I can use 26 coach wire and don't have to use 30 coach wire. So Hobby King recommended. Banggood recommended local shop if you get it recommended yeah, and those plugs you get them on Aliexpress eBay whatever they are super cheap but you need special crimping tools so that's the chaos here and most important I really recommend seal those immediately after you soldered and inserted the LEDs it will help you a lot. And now I will connect all those LEDs to the board and show you that everything works. And after that, I will try to mount them into the trailer.